Welcome to this brief recap of the legislative session of 2021. Um, I will focus on the social justice related bills that um, we as NSW Washington and the Legislative Action Committee supported. The first bill um, was House Bill 1078. Um, this bill um, was focused on restoring voting eligibility for people with felonies. So it um, extended voting rights um, to anyone who was released from total confinement, um, restoring their right to vote. And with that also um, promoting successful re-entry. This bill was passed both in the House and in the Senate and was signed into law um, by the governor on April 7th. It will take effect um, at the beginning of next year, January 1st, 2022. House Bill 1348 um, was another bill that we supported and that is also um, related to um, social justice and criminal justice. This bill aims at providing medical assistance to um, incarcerated persons. So it often has been the practice that individuals that were incarcerated in our state that they were removed from their uh, the Medicaid roles. This bill um, stops this practice for anyone that is incarcerated for less than 30 days, so up to 29 days. Um, it also requires that anyone who is not yet enrolled in Medicaid is enrolled still while confined. Um, both of these aspects make sure that people who are released from prison have immediate access to meet their physical uh, and behavioral health needs. This bill also passed um, the House and the Senate and was signed um, by the House and the Senate in April and then by the governor on May 3rd. This law will take effect in um, July, July 25th, 2021. Another bill we supported was Senate Bill 5010. And the goal was to prohibit the use of credit scores to um, establish insurance rates, but also to manage access to insurance. Currently, credit scores are often used um, to renew or issue an insurance policy. Um, this results in kind of disproportionate insurance rates, but also disproportionate access to insurance for low income and, um, and marginalized communities. There has not been um, any research that really determined that credit scores are a good proxy um, for risk, um, but it does exclude certain populations from accessing affordable um, insurance. This bill did pass out of the Senate Committee on Business, Financial Services and Trade on February 15th, but it did not um, receive a second reading in the Senate Rules Committee, so um, it did not make it out of the Senate at the cutoff time. It died for this legislative session. So our work will continue and um, we will be back next year and hope that, that this will move forward. Another important bill was Senate Bill 5052. And the goal is to establish health equity zones. So the idea is that certain communities face um, greater health risks and um, their access to health care is um, not as good. So the, these health equity zones will be established based on certain um, health metrics um, with the involvement of local community organizations. And then um, once these equity zones are established, there will be specific services developed in um, collaboration with local organizations to um, create better health outcomes. This bill passed both the Senate and the House and was signed um, by the governor on May 12th, and it will take effect um, July 25th, 2021. Another bill that is also at the intersection and kind of social justice and criminal justice is Senate Bill 5157. The idea is to provide incentives to reduce the involvement of persons with a behavioral disorder in the criminal 
criminal justice system. There um, bill requires now the establishment of performance uh, tracking system that specifically measures also the criminal justice involvement of individuals with behavioral health concerns and um, to help really provide evidence-based practices um, that keep people with behavioral concerns out of the criminal justice system. Um, this bill also passed both the House and the Senate and was signed by the governor on May 12th. It will take effect also this year, um, 7-25-2021. The last bill that we um, supported in the area of social justice was Senate Bill 5068, uh, improving maternal health outcomes by extending coverage during the postpartum period. Um, traditionally, Medicaid coverage um, was only provided for 60 days. Um, it has been um, already during the pandemic, pandemic now been extended, and this bill makes sure that this extension remains so that women have access to Medicaid coverage for up to 12 months after um, birth. This is an important uh, bill that really addresses inequities in maternal mortality, but also um, maternal health outcomes related to race, socioeconomic, and immigration status. And um, this bill will help to make sure to we have better um, outcomes related to um, children, but also um, women and mothers. It passed both the Senate and the House and was signed by the governor on April 16. It will also take effect this year, July 25th, 2021. I hope this was a helpful recap and um, we will see you all again for next legislative session 2022.